Yo, what's good homies and welcome back to another episode of our West Tigers Rebuild. We are in round 17 and our opponent for today are the first placed Newcastle Knights. It's really a three-way tie for the top of the league between the Knights, Cowboys and the Sharks. But uh, yeah, it's really crazy to see the Knights up there. So from 14 games played, they've won 11, lost 3 and they're coming off back-to-back uh, -back wins. As for us, we're coming off a golden point loss to the Titans, snapping our two-game winning streak. Alright, let's jump right into the game here. Uh, as far as lineups go, we didn't make any changes to our squad. I am, however, thinking of uh, thinking of putting Taylor back at lock. And I need a higher rated player because Eisenhower, he's at like a 56 or 57. And he's out of form, so he's not even improving. So yeah, the closer we get to the business end of the season, I'll be looking for the best possible team to field, regardless of if they play for them in real life or not, because uh, I really want to make the finals. As we go on a rampaging run here with Aaron Woods, what a run, and the post contact meters, makes it past halfway as Brooks sends it to Tedesco, gets around one defender, and he's also going to get a little leg drive going as we make it to their 40. First tackle, we go to Brooks, Brooks to Lawrence, and Lawrence is going to get stopped, 35 out. We have a little setup to the right here, as we send it to Brooks, he links up with Taylor. Taylor fends his way past one defender, gets the goose step going past another, until he's finally wrapped up inside the 20. Third tackle, we go to Brooks once again. Beautiful flat ball to Nangama, and he's going to get wrapped up, around 8 meters out from their line. What a perfect set so far, as we go to Woods. Bumps off a defender and he's going to score the first point of the game. It's quite fitting that Woods was the one that scored, given that he's the one that got us on the front foot. As uh, we take a quick look at the finish here, I was talking about him and Tedesco earlier, saying how they're the best players in our team. They're both rated in the 90s now, which is pretty weird, but the thing that sucks about it is that they're both leaving. Their men, I'm pretty sure Selmano Fungai is also leaving. He's another player that's been developing well. As Tui takes the shot here, and he's gonna start it from right in front, gives us the early lead, 6 points to 0. Alright, back in attack here, with Elijah Taylor fighting for every inch, as he finally gets pulled down inside our 20. A second tackle, we go to Woods, and he's gonna make it just inside the 30. Some decent running by our forward pack, as we go to Brooks, pops a beautiful short ball to Tedesco, gets around their fullback, and we're gonna race away here, for our second try of the game. Great ball playing by uh, Luke Brooks, linking up with Tedesco. Brooks needed a big game, especially after that BS he pulled in the last match, where he uh, got sent off and pretty much, pretty much cost us the game, I'd say. As we take another look on the replay here, just holds the pass out, delays it, eventually pops it short to Tedesco, and Teddy with the footwork was just too good for their rookie fullback, Fithian. I'm not too sure how you say that dude's name. I think it's Fithian, but... I might be wrong, just let me know in the comment section if you do know how to properly say his name. As we convert it from right in front, and we're going to take an early lead 10 minutes into the game, up by 12 points. Alright, back in attack here, approaching the 30th, as Grant goes on a nice little run, back with Lolo here here, and he throws an interception. The play was on, we were just lacking a little bit there on the execution. Now it's back with the Knights to strike back before half time. As they go to Barnett, who bumps off one defender, gets the offload away, and it's going to be Cost Jason here who scores for the Knights. A decent bit of play by the AI there, a powerful run by um, by Mitchell Barnett, and then the awareness to get the pass away to uh, to Cost Jason in support, who reaps the rewards, as Hodkinson kicks the goal from right in front, and gets them within 6. Alright, we're 3 minutes out from the break, and we're going to lose the ball <laughs> after Selbano Fangai gets rocked in the tackle. Loses the ball forward, back with the scrum here, as Fithian gets past one, gets around to Desco at the back, and he's going to get pulled down inside out 10. Just a couple of minutes remaining, as they quickly shift the ball here, and it's going to be Wardle who takes the tackle. So at this point, uh, we had two choices here, we either back our defense and potentially let a try through, or just give away the penalty and concede the two, and as you can see, we were happy to concede the two points here, as Hodkinson takes the shot at goal. Well, 
Alright, so after he nails the two points, we're going to head into the break with the lead. A slight lead after a pretty action-packed first half. We're going to take a quick look at the halftime match stats. Nothing too surprising here. Everything's somewhat even. As usual, there's a high error count. And that's to be expected in this game. It's usually from the big hits. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I do tend to push a pass here and there. As we get started in the second half here, with the Knights in attack, Bureau with the Fend. And it looks like he's going to get off to a pretty decent start. As we take another look on the replay, just to check that grounding, goes up as a try. And as you can see here, it's that weird animation that looks like he grounded the ball. But they'll actually end up getting the red lights. I guess there's some separation or something there, but... Yeah, as they get the red lights, it's going to be a close call for us to start the second half. Back with the Knights in attack here. As they go to the short side, send it out to Ross on the wing. And we're going to try and drive him into touch, but he does well to stay in. Fourth tackle here, as they go to Bura. Bura to cost Jason, fends off one defender, gets the offload away. And it's going to be the fifth and last, five meters out from our line. As they go short to cost Jason, and he's going to score a double. Man, cost Jason with the stiff arm. It's impossible to wrap him up in the first tackle. As uh, they tie their game up, and then they're going to take the lead here with Hodginson from right in front. Alright, so we're back in attack, inside the final 10 minutes of the game. With uh, Aloyai, who fends off a defender. Makes it to their 30. As we go to Woods here, links up with Grant, who runs into a brick wall. And we're about 22 meters out from their line. Second tackle, we go to Woods, through the gap, as he tries to run straight through 50 in, but he's going to get wrapped up. Inside the 10 now. Third tackle, we go to Brooks, he sends it wide to Lawrence, and we run into another brick wall. Desperate for some points here. As we send it to Woods, who gets driven back in the tackle. Fifth and last, we got uh, we got Luke Brooks here at first receiver. As we go to Brooks, he puts it on the toe, regathers, and we're going to score under the posts. I barely ever grubber, and we were in a desperate situation there, so I had to pull out the grubber with Brooks. He had a pretty decent game, and I guess it's a little bit of redemption for last week, as he gets us the four points, and ultimately wins us the game. More importantly though, it gets us the two competition points, as we take a quick look at the replay, convert the final points of the match, and we're going to defeat the Newcastle Knights, the first placed Newcastle Knights, might I add, at McDonald Jones Stadium. It was a pretty decent performance, I guess. As we look at the full-time match stats, and of course, it's going to be a Newcastle Knights player that gets man of the match. Rory costs Jason. But yeah, anyway, full-time here, 18 points to 14. We get that W, and as always, sure to charge that like button for more Rugby League Live 4 content. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you, you, you. Never change. Never change. Later. We all know. Got my clowns and conductors on my radio.